Hey everybody, Galusia here, and welcome to my new series, Let's Play. This is going to be a new series where I am doing exactly what the title says. I'm going to be doing Let's Plays of games that I want to play and share with you. And every version of Let's Play, every game that we do through Let's Play, is going to have a goal. And then every episode is going to be building to that goal. And once we reach that goal, we're going to move on to the next game. Some games don't really have an end. No Man's Sky doesn't really have an end. So it's not about beating the game. It's about doing something that I want to do. And our goal for No Man's Sky is going to be getting to a different galaxy. For those of you that don't know, every single one of these dots that flies by is a star. And all of these are inside of a galaxy. And in this game, you can eventually complete enough series of challenges and things to get to another galaxy and that's what I want to do because I've never actually done that in this game but along the way of course we're going to be challenging or we're going to be tackling all sorts of challenges and having loads of fun along the way so let's begin initialization okay so we got past the initial initial phase where we just have to not die right we have to recharge our shield so we fixed our scanner we got our shield fixed now we just got to move on from here look at you look at what are you what are you even you're so cute so we're gonna do that that distress that signal source is our ship but before we do that let's tidy up the first thing I always do is move I move my technology to another slot so that I can carbon nanotube so that I have more inventory space and then I fix my visor the, the game is going to direct me to fix my visor but the sooner I fix it the better and I know that I need it so we're just going to get it done. Boom. So now we can scan. Now most of the stuff that I can like look for, we can't actually get yet because I need to be able to dig. And I don't have the ability to dig yet. But at least we can scan. So I'm gonna immediately going to scan just a bunch of stuff just so I have more information about the crap around me. Talky talky thing. Oh. Oh my goodness. What the hell is that? Whoa. Do we haven't even gotten our ship yet? That is so weird looking. I have never. Well, we have to investigate that. Look how insane. So this is... It looks like it's a space station. So that's cool. I've just never seen one that looks like this. I wonder if I can call my ship. Even though I haven't. Actually, probably not, because I need to do the whole tutorial thing. God, look at this. There's so much here. Artifact Exchange Vault. Really interesting. Technology merchant. Not that that accomplished a lot by selling that crap, but at least it, it helped to get us started. Okay, so we need to get to our ship, which is now like 1,500 units away or whatever. What the hell? Oh my god! Never seen anything like that. Like just a giant creature that was kind of ridiculous. Okay, now that's the ship you normally get, but I originally pre ordered this game way, way back in the day. So. 
I get a better ship. Just transfer that over. So I lose uh, rocket launchers. Your starting ship comes with rocket launchers, but I gain a phase beam, which I would way rather have anyway. And more importantly, a hyperdrive with fuel. And this is that's a dramatic improvement to our situation. So there you go. So I should probably point out that if you notice, these things got highlighted in blue when I moved, when I made the recycler. If you're adding technology that's related to another technology, like this is our has hazard protection and we just got this new shield, you want to put it where it's touching the thing and it makes it more effective. So it's, it's that much better. So this isn't actually not 10%, it's like slightly higher than 10% if it's actually touching, whatever, you know, like 11% or whatever it is, but it, it's an improvement, so. Holy sh I don't, why can't I scan, oh, you can scan it, but you have to scan like the head of it or something. Scan. Damn, it's not letting me scan it. It's so cool. Please come out again. Drat. If you guys end up playing this game and you're wondering how I'm able to do that, like this quick forward movement. If you started playing the game, you would start jetpacking around, and you'd be like, why don't I fly forward super quick? Uh, it's actually super easy. You just have to start running, and then you do a melee, and then immediately do the jump. So it's like melee jump. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a bad example. Melee jump. There we go. It's a, once, that's why one of the first things I try to upgrade when I'm buying upgrades for myself is for the jetpack. Because if I can make the jetpack better, like with that forward mobility trick, like it just helps so much. Repel the launch thrusters. Okay, first thing I'm actually going to do is move this. Like I move everything. Okay, and then let's get out. So it tells me what I have to do. I already know what I have to do. I need to make that. Okay. Huzzah, here we go. To space. So when we first get to space, it's going to give us a little bit of a space tutorial, and I just utilize this time to blow up rocks and collect materials. Ooh, that's a silver rock. I will blow you up. Yeah, see so that salvageable scrap in the description? That's something that I really look for. And the first system that you spawn in may or may not have something like that. There's other ones like ancient bones and stuff like that, but it... You're not always going to find a system with that, so that's actually, like, crazy lucky. I can't, really can't express that enough. Where are we going to navigate to, computer? A whole nother planet, you say? Okay. So always scan a planet first so you get a general idea of what you're up for. Contaminated planet. Ooh, spooky. That means it's full of alien weirdos. It's a shame this is contaminated, because at least, like, from up here, it looks really pretty. Like, it looks like it could be a pretty planet to put a base on. Ooh, look at that. That's not where we need to go, but we need to remember it's there. Kachunk. Okay. 
new planet, so I immediately start scanning stuff. Can't help myself. I know it slows down the progression. I'm sorry, guys, but I gotta do it. And I mean, you do get units. That's another upgrade that I try to find pretty early. If you can get a really good upgrade to your scanner, you can actually make an insane amount of money just from scanning stuff. So it's actually kind of worthwhile. Okay, so we can now build a base computer, which this is going to be super, super important for the progression of the game. We want to build the base computer as soon as possible and just get going with everything. The problem is when we do that, we're doesn't have to be our forever base, but we're kind of married to wherever we put it for like a while, right? So if we put it on this planet, like this is kind of where we live now. You know what I mean? Like we just you just kind of like you're stuck, right? Um, oh my god, they have like Stegosaurus looking things. So cool. They're like Stegosaurus cats. Yay! Okay, that's a big deal. That is actually a tremendously big deal. We need a terrain manipulator to do most. Most everything in this game requires a terrain manipulator that I want to do, so. That's a big deal. But yeah, copper. We are going to need this for a lot of things. But to start off, we need it for the base. So let's gobble all this up. And then we got to find that building that we saw when we flew in. So the first thing is we can now get buried technologies. And that is also going to be really important for our first base. We're going to need a lot of the salvage things that they pop out. So usually when I get the terrain, man terrain manipulator, I immediately start collecting those. Especially because I'm probably not going to stay on this planet, like I already said. And so I want to try to get, you know, whatever resources I can from this planet before I leave. Because wherever I build my base, like, I'm obviously going to be searching for all these things. And then there's not going to be any left, you know what I mean? Creature pellet. Oh, it's one of these things. Ooh. These are good. Yeah, this is this is very good. These are things we want to find. Is. Is. Two. <laughs> Basic ass starting words. The imprint of the ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted, so it is decree. The will of Herc commands it. The Vakin shall honor the judgment on behalf of the ancients. Okay, so we want knowledge of the past. It's going to give us a historical data marker, and then this is super important. So it looks like it's not on this planet. That's fine. Usually it's not. We're going to go there immediately. Because these are, like, really important first steps for us to grow. Yeah, just remember when it starts giving these tutorials, you don't have to do it on the planet that you're on. You can go to other places. Okay, let's get out into space so we can figure out what planet this is on. Okay, yeah, it's on like the moon or whatever of this planet. So let's give that a scan. It's a cloudy moon. I don't remember reading that description. But it has the basic materials that we need for a base. Copper and paraffin. Paraffinium are pretty basic materials that you need when you're making a base. So if this ended up being a cool moon, we could technically make our base here if we wanted to. Cloudy. That's a weird description. Well. <laughs> weather. Sweaty drizzle. It's a fucking weird. Um... Yeah. 
There's some copper. <laughs> um, well, it looks like it's very lush, which is kind of cool. It looks like there's no hazardous anything, right? There's no radiation or anything like that. So it looks like we're safe to be here. There's a bunch of these glowing mushrooms everywhere. Temperature's almost perfect. 73.6. That's like my favorite temperature in real life. Like 75 degrees Fahrenheit is like my go-to temperature. <laughs> so not too bad. Yeah. I mean, I could actually like possibly make a base on this planet. It's not too bad. Very technology module, very technology module. I'm just kind of like doing a quick scan of the horizon to see like what kind of stuff is around. There's another one. I mean, I'm definitely going to get some very technology modules while we're here. There's an unknown building over there. So we're going to mark that so we remember. Actually, I probably can't mark it. I probably have to mark these to help me find these. So anyway, the point of these places is you're going to find ancient fragments, a.k.a. keys. You gotta find three of them. There's some gra Gravicino balls here, too. You could sell those, and they're worth a little bit of money, but I would just leave them alone. It's probably going to attract some unwanted sentinel attention. And although they are worth money, they're not worth, like, a fortune, and I'd rather just not deal with the sentinels right now. It's just time consuming. And the whole reason we're here is to get money. Like, we're going to get money from... Uh, from these things, so it doesn't matter. Not from the keys, from the thing that the keys unlock. Ancient buried building. Okay, so then we need to find. No, that's a gravitational ball. Ancient fragment. Ancient... There we go. We want the large artifact crates. You only need the... even though there's more than three of these keys, you only need three. Don't bother like getting all of them. And then it's a roll of the dice. Sometimes you get a really good one. Sometimes you get like a meh one. We got a clay palm sprout. What? The fuck is a clay palm sprout? Yeah. So, womp womp. I mean, obviously, getting 157,000 units is still really good for the early game, but you can find stuff in here that's worth like over a million units. This is probably like the worst thing I've ever found in one of these ancient places. <laughs> So that's unfortunate. Wow, the unknown building is a spacecraft. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. I'm never one to not look at a potential free ship. Okay, so... Uh, doesn't look great. It's only got three technology modules. Potential damage is low. Doesn't have a ton of these. It's got this Class B thingamago here, which isn't terrible. Uh, but yeah, there's not. It's not worth it. Most of the stuff is damaged anyway. And it's just a bad ship. We found a bad ship. <laughs> but yeah, you can. I mean, you can find ships that are really good. The only problem is you have to fix them. But it's free so you know because normally you have to um you know exchange uh units to upgrade your ship and it gets very expensive um ooh, that's actually awesome that we found that Because that actually gives us the ability to send stuff to our ship when we're not, like, as close to it. Like, you can't be super close or super far away. Like, I can't, like, like hundreds and hundreds of meters, but... 
What's on top of these platforms? Are they just large, flat platforms? Because I could just do it up here. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to investigate really quick. Because <laughs> it's just so flat. <laughs> it's so flat. It would be so good for putting a base on. I just need to see, like, if I... Like, how would I get down and slash up? You know what I mean? They're, it's pretty big. Doesn't you don't doesn't look as big. Jesus, doesn't look as big when you're in the ship, and then when you get out, it's like holy crap, this is actually huge. Um, pretty far down, but I think if I dug my way back up, I could make a tunnel and get back up here. We're gonna do that first before I do anything because I want to see where the tunnel comes out. This is a far drop. Oh my god. That was way farther than I thought. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna be a hike. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a way up and down, so that's good. It's a start. I think we should start building the base close to the hole. Okay, so we have to build a base because the game is making us do it. So I'm going to build a shelter facing the hole just because it'll help me remember like where the hole is. You know what I mean? But we need carbon and lots of it. So let's go do that. We're going to have to go bust up some plants, yo. And you, my friend. I will take all of that. And I'm just going to leave that set up now, because I don't need to carry it around with me. Okay. I did say there's a storm incoming. Yeah, so this place has firestorms. Interesting. Most planets, even if they're not like, quote-unquote, dangerous, still have some sort of a dangerous storm that occasionally pops up. That could potentially be a good thing, too, though. Because sometimes when you have a storm, it, like, charges certain things that you can find, like, only during a storm. So it's, like, super dangerous, but they're worth a lot of money kind of thing. So you never know. So this is where we start our research, right? And so the base teleport modular, that's super important. But see all these salvage things that we've been getting? Like, this is what it's for. It's so that we can build this crap. Um, but yeah, so we're going to need a... At the very least, we're going to need a biofuel reactor to power the base terminal. Or the teleporter. And that's going to require wiring, which is free, thank God. And then... That's it for now. I could obviously build a solar panel and do all that, but I'm just not going to worry about it right away. It's super expensive to... I mean, I can technically afford it, actually, come to think of it. I got some gold when I was in space. Now to hell with it. And I have just enough for a battery. So there you go. Booyah. Now that I don't have enough for yet, but we can get there. Cool. Rename our base. Uh, Galoo's Pad of Awesome. And it's like literally a pad. I'm on a pad. Look at, the, look at my pathetic base. Screenshot. <laughs> look how stupid it is. Uh, the best. Okay. Okay, so we're going to need ferrite. I could technically get ferrite from all these little tiny baby rocks, so we'll just do that rather than traveling all the way down to the surface of the planet. Plop this sucker down right here. Booyah. I wonder if I make a solar panel, if it'll still give me the quest to... 
make a bioreactor or if it just recognizes that as being a power source so it doesn't, you know what I mean, bug me about it. Oh, well, I actually got that hooked up. It gave me credit for fueling the bioreactor even though I'm not, so that's good. And as long as there's a sun, it should power the base terminus. I just need a battery so that I don't, you know what I mean? But yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. Okay. So that's that. So, um, so now we get to go to the uh, to the space station, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if I have to. It, it, am I allowed to teleport there, or do I have to fly? There's the space station. Obviously, it's off planet. It's in space. But can I use the teleporter? No. So I do have to fly there. Okay. Well, there you go. Bunch of ferrite, because I don't feel like shooting these little tiny rocks. It's going to take an eon. I'll get some carbon while I'm down there and stuff. Come back up. And then that's going to be it for me today. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up everything right now. Uh, I feel like we accomplished a lot today. I feel like we got past the very, very early phase of the tutorial. Technically, the tutorial phase lasts for hours in this game. It's constantly teaching you stuff. But uh, I feel like we, you know did pretty good um, yeah finding the hole back up that is gonna be interesting ah oh, there it is okay good yeah okay how do we let's we need to build something by this hole because once I leave this area it's gonna be really hard to find this uh, decorations Ooh, a flag God a flag would be perfect I just need Five pure ferrite. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. I had just had it. <laughs> I got rid of it. Do I go all the way up there just to make five pure ferrite? Oh. All right. Well, here I go. Anyway, so thanks, everybody. I appreciate your view and support, as always. Comment below. Let me know if you're enjoying uh, both No Man's Sky and just the concept of my new Let's Play series. Like, I, I really want to do... Let's plays like I, I this is what I enjoy making, uh, and I enjoy watching these a lot uh, from other makers on YouTube. It's just like, and you know I love zombies, but that's just like something else altogether. And I really wanted to do something besides zombies, and I really feel like this is it. So hopefully you guys are supporting it. Um, but yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think about let's plays in general. What you think about specifically a let's play for no man's sky like i'd love to hear back from you guys so comment below smash the like button and i will talk to you guys next time and now i can make my flag